guys and gals, welcome back to doing redneck things off grid. Well, it's the day you all been waiting for. We have the 48 volt system up and running. So let me show you what we got going on here. So hang in there a minute. All right, here we go. We got four 250 watt panels run in series that runs into the bathhouse here. This is our bathhouse we've been working on. So let me show you what we got. All right, we have 20 200 amp amp hour batteries. Let me turn the light on here so that helps. Yeah, that helps a little bit. 20 200 amp hour batteries and they're wired in series parallel. I have four rows of five, four rows of five, and they're run, they're hooked up so the whole row is 12 volts. And then on each end we, we go to, I got a positive to a negative on that end. And this end is open and goes to the bus bar. So then from the second row, it goes from a positive to a negative and runs, runs down to there and it runs a positive to a negative and then the positive comes out and runs to the bus bar and I have a 150 amp fuse in there and this is what you all been waiting for to see oops okay let me get that thing right okay with the solar I got 259 volts coming in off my solar that's 2000 watts run parallel my battery bank is 55.3 volts that's all the batteries are fully charged as you can see the little thing right there and my usage I just have the TV and the freezer running right now I'm fixing to turn on the air conditioner a little bit later and this thing is absolutely fantastic uh, when I first when we first got started it up I had some trouble this this wire here had uh, come disconnected on this so to in order to get it running I just ran a series of a series of four batteries in series to make 48 and for three days okay let me get this for three days we ran on four batteries because until, until I, I had to hunt down the uh, hunt down the problem, and like I said, it came down to that one positive wire where it hooks into the fuse was loose, and it was creating an arc in there that you couldn't see, but it was boosting the power up too much so that the unit wouldn't turn on. So I. Just it, it was late. We had to, we had to do this at night, so it was late, and we had to uh, just get up, get the power running. So I got we got the power power up, and for three days we ran on four batteries, and totally totally efficient, unbelievable. The cool thing is. I don't have the uh, I don't have the power cord to plug into the 50 amp service yet, which is a two 240 volt. So it's it's all ready to go. I just got to get the get get a new cord that that'll reach from the RV to here. And uh, so what's cool is that is a 20 amp. Yeah, that that is a 20 amp ground fault plug. And that is running, that is running our RV with 20 amp. And I also have a battery charger charging the battery because when I went to the 48 volt, I couldn't have none of my stuff plugged in. So my lights are, my lights are 
my lights are twelve. So my light here is is twelve volt, and the uh, the solar tracker controls is also twelve volt. So I had to had to hook them to to a separate battery there. And uh, now that I got it all got I got it all set up, I have to set up one of my uh, charge controllers to keep that battery charged. So I have to run a little small separate solar system for that. Or, yes, solar system. So anyway, I highly, highly recommend the Sun Gold Power. This one is this is the the bottom number, the SPH 10K48SP. 10,000 10, watts run by 2,000 watts solar and 4,000 amp hours of batteries. I, I wish I would have known this when I first started out how the, all this worked, but with the help of a good friend, G Bears, off grid ways of homestead in the desert. I highly recommend that if you have any questions about solar, get a hold of G Bear, watch his channel. You will learn lots of stuff. He taught me how to hook all of this stuff up in a couple of weeks. I, I, and uh, I conferred with him and got everything all hooked up. And I do have a problem with 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 this ground fault, I think I have a wire touching because it keeps kicking it off, so I had to turn that one off. But let me tell you, Leanne's been with the run in the house, and she's been washing laundry out of that plug with just a 20 amp service on that plug. So this is unreal for setting up your off-grid stuff. More power than I could probably use. I'm fixing to go turn the AC on, or actually our swamp cooler in the house, so check it out, guys and gals. I give these Sun Gold Power five stars. I highly recommend that if you're going to do it, spend, if you're going to go off-grid, spend the extra money and buy the good stuff. Um, I've had these batteries going on, uh, these are uh, Renogy batteries, 200 amp hours. They're, it, it, I got 4,000, 4,000 amp hours of, of batteries. Cut that in two because you're only allowed to go to 50, 50% on your batteries. So I have 2,000 amp hours batteries running my 10,000 watt thing and 2,000 watts of solar. So, unbelievable, unbelievable guys. Uh, let me get that real quick. I would highly recommend you go check out Sun Gold products. They are, I, I give them a five stars like I said. <coughs> Excuse me. They are, it's a really good product. I, I have no complaints. I've been running for four days on it right now. So get uh, get in and check, check it out. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. We are running on 48 volts, and it is awesome. More power than we can need. I can add, probably add another. I probably plug Leanne's mom's RV in, and uh, it's just, it's cool. Go check them out. Sun Gold Power. God bless everybody. Support your troops. Get out and vote. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.